understands that do not distribute the square root. And the reason they do it is, I mean, there's a, a very logical answer to why they do it. Because the product rule, I'm sorry, um, yeah, the product rule of exponents, not the product rule of exponents, but uh, the power rule of exponents state if you have x times y squared, then yes, that equals x squared times y squared, right? This is true for multiplication, not for addition or subtraction. So you, cannot, you can do this for a multiplication and division. You cannot do it for multiplication and division. So what do you do for this? Well, x squared equals x times x. 2x squared equals 2x times 2x. So 2 plus x squared equals 2 plus x times 2 plus x. Does everybody follow my pattern that I've just created? Okay. So when you have something squared, it's, a, it's that same term multiplied by the same term. Here we have a binomial multiplied by a binomial. So what this represents is square root of 2 minus the square root of 6 times the square root of 2 minus the square root of 6. Now you can apply FOIL if you like, or you could also use the box method, which I prefer just because it helps you guys organize your work. So what you do is you put one, one binomial on top and put the other on the bottom. Okay. Then we just take our length times width to multiply to find the area of each box. Square root of 2 times square root of 2? Two, 2. The square root of 4, two. which yes, I'll get to. Square root of 2 times negative square root of 2 is um, negative square root of 12. Square root of 2 times negative square root of 6 is a negative square root of 12. So negative square root of 6 times negative square root of 6 is a negative square root of 6 squared. Or right, let's just do 36. Okay, Does everybody follow me what I did? Remember, you can multiply. You can't add them, but you can multiply um, radicals inside of each other. So therefore, obviously, the square root of 4 is 2 minus the square root of 12 minus the square root of 12 minus 6, because square root of 36 is 6. Then negative square root of 12 minus negative, negative square root of 12 minus square root of 12 is going to be 2 square root of 12. So 2 minus 6 is a negative 4 minus 2 square root of 12, right? x minus x is 2x, negative square root of 12 minus negative square root of 12. Remember, you can't subtract inside, right? You can multiply and divide, but you cannot, um, or you can multiply, but you cannot add or subtract. Then, let's simplify square root of 12. We know that the square root of 12 is going to be 2 radical 3. Then, we multiply negative 4 minus 4 radical 3. Four. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Right? The numbers you can combine. Yes? Why isn't the square root of 6 positive? Yeah, it's positive. It is positive. I, I messed up a negative sign. Thank you. Um, so that 4, that's a positive, so that becomes an 8, right? Yeah. Thank you. I just didn't see a negative sign here. 8, 8. Then, if you want to simplify this even further, you could factor out a 4. Right? Because you could factor that out. So you could factor out a 4 to leave it like that. Right? Why right? 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 Why wouldn't you solve 8 minus, I mean, eight minus 4? Because that's, it's like doing this. Oh, OK. Sure, sure. Right? OK. Anybody have questions on that one? I got one more example, then you guys are going to do some work. Yay.